Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA Car Kits on how to install our pure Bluetooth kit in the 2005 Acura TSX. For this particular car you're gonna need some type of panel removal tools and uh, a drill and we'll show you later on for what in order to run the cables. So the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna uh, put our hands inside this compartment. This is where we're gonna wire our auxiliary wire and the optional charging cable. So to remove this uh, compartment, we suggest putting your hands inside and kind of pulling it out. And make a fist inside and pull it towards yourself. That's the easiest way. You have to put the car in neutral in order to take it out. And now we're gonna put it back in park. Over here you have this is uh, the light into the compartment and if your light bulb is out you can change it and I mentioned the drill earlier because we're gonna drill a hole right around here in order to feed the wire through so once you do that we're gonna look underneath the radio here so right underneath the radio there's this uh, connection that we're gonna plug in our uh, harness from our GTA car kits uh, pure Bluetooth. It's hard to see on camera, but it's there <clears throat> So once uh, Once you remove that we're gonna show you what comes in the kit. So you have uh, the module Which is gonna get hidden behind this pocket uh, Then we have a harness cable which uh, will plug in right underneath the radio It has the exact same connection right underneath there we have an auxiliary wire like with a 3.5 millimeter jack and you also have a microphone which we're gonna show you how to wire right here into the A pillar. So first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna take our harness and we're just gonna go with our fingers and plug it in. That's it, the harness is plugged in connect the harness now we're gonna show you how to wire your microphone so first thing that you're gonna do I forgot to mention earlier you're gonna need some type of Phillips screwdriver and uh, we're gonna remove this small panel underneath the steering wheel there's a screw at the back here which you have to remove first so once you remove this screw there's uh, three clips holding this panel so we're just gonna use our fingers and pull it towards ourselves just like that so these uh, so this was the screw here and then there's three clips so over here on this side first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna grab this rubber piece that goes between the door and the interior and we're just gonna drop it down in order to feed the microphone through Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our panel removal tool and re remove uh, this panel with the two switches. So you just get it underneath and remove it. Next step is to remove this small panel. And uh, the best way in this car would be to take your panel removal tool or anything that might be a little long and kind of push it out just like that and it pops off because otherwise if you try to get underneath here you need something really thin and you would start from the top corner but we found that it's way easier if you just kind of push it out from uh, from the inside once you do that we're gonna take our microphone and we're gonna start from the top so this is the microphone so we're just gonna get it on the inside here just like that and now we're gonna work our way down make sure you take your time when you do it and our main goal here is to get this wire behind the dashboard and all the way into the middle compartment which we showed you earlier so we're gonna use our tool And so the main goal is to have it behind the dash. 
So nothing is uh, jamming the wire or anything like that. And then we're gonna put the rubber piece back, just like that. We're gonna attach the wire here. At this point you can put this panel back and now we're gonna show you from the inside of the car how to feed the wire through. So we're gonna continue fishing this wire behind the panels and behind the dash. So just like that here because we have the panel we showed you how to remove earlier. Now you can put the switches back at this point. We're gonna keep going. The main goal is to catch it on the inside, just like that. So once you have it here, you can put this panel back underneath the steering wheel. So now once, once you get the wire into the middle, all the way from the A pillar, we're gonna take our module, which comes in our pure Bluetooth kit, and there is a slot here which says microphone so we're gonna plug it in here we're gonna connect the harness which we showed, showed you earlier how it connects underneath the radio into our module once you do that uh, there's two more things left and uh, there's the auxiliary wire which we showed you earlier and there's also if you have uh, any type of uh, charging cable you can wire it at the same time. We have a USB charging port on our module. So this is for the auxiliary. This is for the charger. And uh, I, showed, I told you earlier that uh, we're gonna need uh, some kind of drill. Because uh, you have to drill a hole into the middle compartment, which we took out. So we're gonna take our drill and we're gonna drill a small hole here, big enough uh, for the auxiliary wire to fit. So again, I'm showing you quickly, make sure you take your time and be careful with this step. So we drilled the hole into this uh, compartment. So we're going to take our auxiliary wire and just drop it inside. And if you have a charging cable, do it at the same time. We're going to take our auxiliary and plug it in into our module and uh, everything will stay here at the back and once you put the module make sure that it's nowhere in the way for the for this compartment to go in so you just put it kind of to the side uh, then we have this uh, light that we have to plug in but before we do that we need to put the car back in, uh, in neutral in order for the pocket to go in. Uh, before we, don't f when you're putting it back, make sure that you don't forget to put the light back in. Just like that. And now, we're gonna put this pocket back in. So when you put this po pocket back in, make sure that all four clips click in and uh, to know that it's been put back in properly, you have to make sure that it cl closes normally. So now we're gonna test everything to make sure everything works properly. So we're gonna turn the car on to, its, to the first position, uh, turn the radio on. So everything will work the same way, your CD player that you have here, the six disc changer, everything works the same. And now we're gonna press on the CD button once. So this is the what's inside the CD player. Press it again and you get the CDC option which you didn't have before plugging in our kit. So we're gonna go into our Bluetooth settings and right here you have a GTA car kit. So when you turn the car on to the first position you have one minute uh, to do this initial pairing and every time after that you're not gonna have to do it so you're gonna press on GTA car kit. It's, uh, it has paired to the system. So now if you go to your music, you will hear it playing over the radio. And if it's the music on your phone and there's next songs here, you can switch the music by the via car radio, just like that.
And same if you have uh, steering wheel controls. So it switches the music. So now, uh, when somebody gives you a phone call, the music will uh, pause and you'll hear the ring going through. We're gonna demonstrate right now. And there's two ways to answer. You can either answer from your phone or you can answer by using uh, the next uh, skip song on the radio. Right here it's calling, so we're gonna use this button to answer. And uh, the same way to hang up. And uh, you hear the music again. So if you look on the radio here, it says disc one, and this is, uh, it means that it's gonna play Bluetooth. And there's only another thing here, there's a disc two. And this is for the auxiliary that we wired. So in order to hear the auxiliary, you have to go to disc two. And auxiliary is simple. And if you wanna go back to the music via Bluetooth, you have to go back to disc one. And now the music plays over Bluetooth. So again, this was a video for GTA Car Kits on how to install our pure Bluetooth. I hope you liked our video and we'll see you next time.